Hi Capricorn, welcome back to my channel, Karma Fox. I am doing your monthly reading for the month of December, 2021. I hope you guys are doing really well. I am gonna take a quick second just to remind everyone that this is a general reading. It may not resonate with everyone. And if you find that's your situation, I encourage you to check your other signs and placements. See if those readings may resonate just a little better. Um, also keep in mind that in a monthly reading, it is a little bit predictive. So while it might not be happening today, it could be happening by the end of the month. So keep that in mind as well. So let's get started, Capricorn. Spirit, can I have the core issue you would like Capricorn to know for the month of December? All right. So we're starting out with the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse, Capricorn. A little bit of a stuck energy there. Um, something not moving forward at all after, you know, after moving forward very, very slowly for the longest time. Well, what is that? Nine of Pentacles. So, you know, that's the energy of being very single. So either wanting to become single and feeling stuck or being stuck feeling single. Um, we'll clarify. Let's see what happened in the past that directly affects this situation. The Empress in reverse, feeling unappreciated, um, perhaps also maybe a situation that wasn't really growing, um, feeling a lack of growth, a lack of abundance in a situation. Why is all this happening? All right, so we have the Wheel of Fortune, and the Moon in reverse. Okay, well, that's that's actually really good here, Capricorn. Um, so there's a change here, and the change is really in your favor. Things are going to start changing in your favor, Things are, especially with affairs of the heart. Um, but things are going to start moving in your favor. You may not see this coming or may not have seen it coming, but um, you may be realizing it in the month of December. Um, it could be with regard to a cancer um, because the moon, for me as a reader, is a cancer. Some people um, will say Pisces, but for me it's cancer. And it could also be because you've had some kind of a, of a realization or epiphany or there's some information that comes out. But regardless, things are going to be moving in your favor. And that's why all this is happening. So let's see what's on your mind. So it's going to be a turnaround in your favor. Let's see what's on your mind, Capricorn. The Eight of Swords. Yeah, you're feeling trapped here. You're feeling trapped. Maybe some anxiety um, kind of up in your head. Let's see what's happening in December that you uh, may not see coming. What's happening for Capricorn in December? The High Priestess. Okay. So things are going to be revealed to you in December. Um, things that have been hidden. Things that, um, you know, have been behind the curtain, as it were will be revealed in December. So this reveal is going to be in your favor, Capricorn. So we see this twice, the moon in reverse and the high priestess here. Um, I think your intuition is going to be really spot on as well. You're going to be highly intuitive in the month of December. Um, it could be, um, it could be also, um, you may have a spiritual experience in the month of December. Let's see how you're coming, how you're showing up in the month of December. That's too many cards. It does not feel correct. So let's try that again. Show me how Capricorn is showing up in December. The Nine of Wands reversed. Okay. Perhaps feeling a, a little bit weary in the past, feeling a little bit like a victim, but coming out of that, really coming out of that, that victim type of mode, um, like you're getting a second wind. Um, let's see the energy coming towards you. Let me see the energy coming towards Capricorn, please. Two 
Ten of Wands reversed. Yeah, an ending of problems. Nice. Let's see Spirit's advice. Knight of Wands reversed. So Spirit's advice here is don't jump into anything. Hold back, especially with regard to um, passions or communication. Uh, let's see the outcome. Let me see the outcome at the end of the month. Four of Pentacles. Okay, so your outcome at the end of the month is that you're still going to be holding on to something here. Um, still a little bit of trapped energy, with, especially with regard to something within the home. But I do see that things are really going to be turning in your favor. It's going to be something, some kind of a reveal is going to do this. So all this trapped energy is going to, there's going to be a turnaround. Um, especially with regard to love. Now, at the bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Cups in the reverse. Um, you could be dealing with a water sign. Um, that would be Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. But I really feel like this is more your energy. I feel like um, you're kind of closed off a little bit emotionally right now. And I also feel like you're not really listening to your intuition. That's going to change because I see December, you becoming extremely intuitive. Um, so a lot of changes for you coming up here in December. And it's going to really get you out of this stuck energy, Capricorn. Let's see why is the Knight of Pentacles in reverse. All right, we have Justice and we have the Ten of Wands. Okay. So some of you may be, and that's in the reverse. So some of you may be dealing with legal issues. Um, if that's the case, I feel like you're going to be successful. Um, Ten of Wands reverse. You're going to successfully complete some kind of a cycle. It's coming to an end. Those problems are going to be put to, to rest and you'll receive justice. Um, for others of you, it's whatever you're feeling stuck about. You're going to get justice. The balance is coming into this situation, and you're going to feel like these problems are dissipating. They're going away. Um, so whatever it is that you, when you ask yourself sitting here, what what am I feeling stuck about? That You're going to get balance and justice in that. Um, why is the Nine of Pentacles here? For some of you, this has to do with a divorce that has been very problematic, it's going to resolve, and it's going to resolve in your favor. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Yeah, going to be a lot of communication. Perhaps after a period of no communication or even a period of block, being blocked, um, I do see communication. Um, I see communication going back and forth. Um, this will be about independence or, or becoming independent um, and perhaps legal issues. It's going to resolve the problems, though. Yeah, definitely it's going to resolve the problems. There could be travel involved with this as well. So, let's see. Um, now, in the past, we have the Empress in reverse. So, there's a sense here of loss and possibly, like, not feeling valued. Um, it is a card of Libra. I see strong Libra on the board. Um, also, Taurus, Scorpio. Okay, all right, so we have the Ace of Wands and the Ace of Cups. Okay, now for some of you, there in the past, there was a somebody had a sexual, um, somebody had had a one night stand or a sexual connection that ended a, a love connection. Um, it, it most likely would have been the other person that would have led to this con this legal situation or this um, situation where you're now getting justice. 
Um, for others of you though, you've been in a situation for a very long time that you felt disrespected, that you didn't feel was growing. And so now um, you may have met somebody that you feel passionate about. And so for that new beginning, you've realized there has to be an ending. But I see a new beginning and an ending in a situation that was not growing, that was not reaching its, its potential. Um, why is the Wheel of Fortune in the moon here? Okay. All right, so we have the Nine of Wands reversed. We have the Emperor. And we have the Six of Wands reversed. Okay, so why is all this happening? Like I said, um, there is an epiphany of some sort, some sort of information coming out um, that is going to change things. And that's why all this is happening. Now, this is a situation that you may have given up on. You may have given up on this situation. Um, it's a situation that has gone on for a very long time. For some of you, it involves a twin flame with the emperor here. Um, but not for everybody. If that's the case, um, there has been a lack of success in this situation, and I feel like you, you were just ready to give up on this. There's going to be a change. Um, there will be a change in this because this emperor is going to return, or you have realized something if you are in the role of the emperor. The emperor, whoever's the emperor, has has had a realization, and that will change all of this. Now, for those of you who are not involved in that type of a, a dynamic, um, what I'm seeing is that someone here is going to take control of the situation, um, and that will create the change. This, again, was a situation where someone realized that the lack of success was because no one was taking control. And I feel like, um, Capricorn, you have just decided you're going to take control of your life here um, instead of just giving up. You're, you're going to overcome these problems. And um, I feel like that will, it's just going to change it all. Now, some of you are dealing with an Aries here as well. So... Let's see, you have the Eight of Swords in your thoughts. Why is that? Because that seems like there's a little bit of energy of feeling trapped um, and not really noticing that the cage there is open. You, you can come out of that cage at any point. So it's like you're kind of trapped in your own head. Um, let's see why. Queen of Cups. Now you have the Queen of Cups in the reverse and the Ace of Swords. Okay, so water energy, like I said, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. Um, so it could be somebody you are dealing with. I do think that there's a desire to communicate or to have some clarity with regard to love. And I think that this situation is playing over and over in your head. Um, I think you may need some clarity about a situation because the Queen of Cups here is very discerning. The Queen of Cups doesn't just give that cup of love out. Um, if you notice in this deck, Queen of Cups has the lid on that cup. So she's, she's looking at that cup. She's trying to discern. Um, I do think that you are going, going over and over in your head about the clarity, should I give my cup of love here or no? Um, should I open my heart again or no? Um, so, all right. Month of, of December, we have the High Priestess. So let's clarify that. with the four of pentacles in the reverse. Now in your outcome, 
You have the Four of Pentacles in the upright. The Moon. The Hanged Man. Strength in Reverse. The Hierophant. And the Three of Swords in the Reverse. Okay. So, there is a release here of something that was kept secret. Something that was either something kept secret or something that, um, you know, you felt unsure of, felt um, a lack of clarity about. Whatever this is, there's fear involved and it's gone on for a very long time. Um, and I feel as if commitment is involved. It could be about a commitment. I feel like it. I feel like it has to do with this. Um, whatever you feel is stuck in over here. I see you releasing it, um, and I do see healing taking place. Now, for some of you, there has been a third party. I see that that is going to be released. It was a secret, and it has gone on for a long time, and. I think that you have been fearful of moving forward and ending a commitment. Um, but I do see you actually, you know, bringing this to a resolution. Some of you, so the third party is going to end. Some of you will do this by ending a commitment with someone else. Others of you are going to end the third party. It can go either way, literally here. Um, so you'll know, but you're, there's fear involved here either way. Um, now, for others of you, what I'm seeing here is that there's just a lack of clarity and you're going to release that lack of clarity after a very long time. You'll be using your intuition to do that because there's a lot of fear involved in this and you're going to be committing to someone there's a commitment here, and it's going to be a very healing process for you. So, let's see how you're showing up. We see the Nine of Wands. Um, let's look at that. Because I feel like you, in the past, have felt kind of cut up. Like, love has been very wounding for you. Alright, so we have the Two of Swords. We have the Ten of Cups in the reverse and the Page of Cups in the reverse. Yeah, there was a reluctance. There's been a reluctance here to make a decision. Um, and you're, there's still a reluctance. That decision has to do with ending um, a long-term connection. There may be children involved in this. Um, and so I feel like you've kind of closed down your emotions. There's a sense of playing the martyr here, um, you may feel like you can't make this decision. So you're kind of guarding your heart, um, not making the decision and just delaying it, but not feeling emotionally fulfilled in the process and shutting your heart down. I see that beginning to reverse with the nine of wands in the reverse. Ten of wands, why is that? That's the energy that's approaching you. It's also in this situation that you're becoming unstuck. So you've been very stuck. Um, now we're seeing this beginning to reverse. Why is the ten of wands in reverse? Okay. All right, so we have the Two of Cups, we have the Queen of Swords, and we have the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so Capricorn, it looks as if um, <laughs> the justice that's coming in, that's ending the problems, is a soulmate connection. There's love here, and with the Queen of Swords, I feel like you're trying to be very, whoever this is, is trying to be very fair. This is air sign energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, so this person is willing to move very slowly. And I think that they are 
they're trying to be very fair in this. This may be a divorced person. Um, queen of Swords is known as the divorced queen. Um, but this person loves you. This person sees you as a soulmate. And they want to they want to help you resolve the problems that you have. Um, there's a lot of Libra energy for sure, but I'm also seeing um, this person. This person may help you in a legal sense somehow as well. Um, they're willing to move slowly with this issue, but there's love here. There's definitely love here. And they want to help you resolve the problems that are present and they're willing to move slowly, which is, I think, what you're, you're desiring as well. Um, why is the Knight of Wands in reverse? And you know what? That's spirit's advice as well. Um, with the Knight of Wands reverse is not to be hasty um, in your actions or your communications. Okay, so we have the Seven of uh, Coins. We have the Four of Cups reverse. And we have the King of Pentacles reversed. Okay, so yeah, don't be hasty. Um, hold back, especially with regard to communication or action. Um, be patient. Seven of Pentacles with regard to money and regard to investing um, of your time and money. Um, the Four of Cups in the reverse shows that um, there could be a lack of stability and with an ending here, okay? So the ending is going to bring a little bit of a lack of stability, but it will improve. So you have to be very patient in this process, both with regard to investing time and money. So that's spirit's advice. You're, you're being guided to be very patient. All right, why is the Four of Pentacles here? This is in your outcome. All right, so clarified by the Six of Coins, Ace of Pentacles, and Knight of Cups reversed. Okay, so I do see that by the end of the month, there is still going to be um, a sense of kind of feeling a bit held back, a bit, a bit um, holding on to something here, especially with regard to the home. Um, I think that it's financially related. So I feel like this brand new beginning um, and this offer of love, I feel like it's, it's on hold. It's, there's a delay. Um, and it is because of um, trying to balance things out with regard to finances and money. So, you know, you're going to have to protect yourself and guard yourself here, Capricorn. I, I feel like that is Spirit's advice as well. And I do see that there is going to be a delay. There is a new start. It is going to be a stable beginning. Um, but there's money, there's financial considerations involved in this. There could be a loss of money, um, involved. So you have to kind of, um, be very patient in order to balance this out. Okay. So it's not forever. I just see it being, um, a little bit of a delay. Also, be very careful with your investments in the month of December. Be careful with your money in the month of December. Um, a delay in this offer of love is going to happen. But the energy coming towards you is somebody who wants to help you with regard to these problems. Um, yeah, they, and they're, they're, they're moving slowly. So, a lot of ambivalence in the, in the energy here. Um, I do think though that you're in a process here and I see you, you know, I see fear kind of holding you back a little bit, Capricorn. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Wands in the reverse, indicating that there is a lack of action. 
Um, that lack of action is with regard to matters of the heart. Um, and also, you know, there's a sense of your heart not being open. Okay, so let's go ahead. I'm going to pull an oracle card for you and see if there's any further advice here. It just looks to me like um, December, there's still going to be a little bit of stuck energy. But it is going to resolve. And I do think it's going to begin to turn in your favor. Because somebody here is going to take charge of the situation. But it's not going to be quite resolved by the end of the month. Okay? So pulling for Capricorn Spirit. Okay. So you have flower spirit. Now somebody else got this as well. I can't remember who it is. Um, I'm trying to remember. I, I can't quite remember who it is, but um, yeah, it, it escapes me. I'm sorry. I wish I could because it could be somebody you're connected with. Um, but you got flower spirit and this is all about, um, you know, the soul. Okay. And tenderness, um, joy, uh, cause I see that you feel quite burdened a lot. So it says this card shows the tender and sensitive flower fairy, the soul of each plant. She listens with all her heart to her friends and provides a soothing caress when their edges get prickly. By enjoying life and keeping the playfulness in her heart, she is a source of inspiration and joy. Her childlike vision helps her to see the good in all things, especially herself. So Capricorn, be sure that as you are encouraging your friends and loved ones, that you also see the good in yourself. Because sometimes I think that you forget to see the good in you. All right. So I hope this has been helpful, Capricorn. If you would, like and share the video. Um, if you haven't subscribed already, I hope you will do so. It would be um, wonderful. It, it would make my day. And if you would like to leave me a comment, I read all of them. So until I see you next week in the weeklies, namaste.